hello youtube i hope everybody's doing fine today is monday and it is quite an unusual day for me to make a video nevertheless i have something new not new but a upgraded version to show you and it is the some of you might know it my picasso pendant and it did uh, received quite a few updates uh, most noticeably maybe well the PCB was white on my previous versions but this I wanted to go all out and made it purple uh, first actually to be honest I did not like it very much but it did grow on me and the second most visible upgrade i have many upgrades actually well anyway the second most visible upgrade is the 1.3 inch ips color display same as here same as here uh, same ips display here and uh, then it has usb type c connector from now on and people that know me uh, i'm a huge fan of neopixels and now it has 10 neopixels in this edge here and instead of just red leds it has also neopixels down here and it has some other features software features that i want to show you but before that let me show you the well the middle part actually i had a dear customer of mine um, help me with the design or upgrade the internal parts and made a back piece before the internal frame was just a thin frame going all around the thickness of this here and it was a bit flimsy um, it didn't matter much because it was sandwiched and pressed in between the front and back PCB but nevertheless uh, he designed this and I think it looks beautiful it looks like I mean I first saw the renders and it really does look like a piece of art same as with the pendant that's why I called it Picasso and anyway he also designed a back plate that incorporates the silicone feet that i now put on before i did not put silicone feet i did on a few last orders i did put silicone feet on there because otherwise the screws were sticking out and if you put it on the table it made that uh, scratchy uh, noise which i didn't like uh, but since it's a pendant normally you would hold it in your hand but not all the time obviously so anyway it now has a new back and uh, it does give it a bevel here around here as you might be able to see it and this one is actually a little thicker than this one and it now it just feels perfect in the hand now i mean before and maybe most people did not notice but i did always uh, sand down the edges of the pcbs so they are smooth to the touch otherwise uh, when they come out of machining they are not smooth but I did smooth them out even the edges here so they were soft to the touch but now with the new back and the uh, initial idea was uh, because my customer who helped me with this and uh, normally you do have the connections out the back the solder uh, points and he said if he had if he would have uh, wet hands or something if if it would be able to make a short or whatnot um, obviously it could to be honest I mean there's these are open pins I mean I don't know what would happen maybe nothing but uh, that's when he decided to create the back and I really really do like it so now it has the updated um, middle frame that looks like this and a new back that has now the silicone feet are little the screws are all inside they don't stick out no more the contacts are covered and the silicone feet are a little recessed 
and it feels so much better in your hand it feels sturdy it's not going anywhere it has enough screws holding it together and uh, here's also <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> the <coughs> navigation switch and um, now we come to the software upgrade that i did let me plug it in obviously an angled cable is uh, not the best to hold it because it does get into your in the way when you're holding it let me put this on put it on this side <clears throat> and uh, let me plug it in and we'll see what happens you get a smile again this time since the nose is not red anymore i used to have um, red keycaps now they're gray so you can use any color for the keys to illuminate them <clears throat> so it has a, a red mouth now and here you can see actually let, let me put this light away a bit you can see the light side emitting neopixels do you need them no why do i put them because i can that was my favorite saying in america when i lived there uh, if somebody asks why do you do it uh, because i can uh, these can obviously be used as indicators for machine running for error or whatnot i did not implement that yet and um, the screen well because the pendant uh, it's just step size by hiree that's me by the way and you have your step sizes now Right now, this code adjusts the step size with this encoder, as you can see. I can go from point zero 0.05, actually it's 19 steps for the X and Y, and I think 16 for the Z. Because you don't have that much travel on the Z, uh, Z axis, so you go up 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, okay, up. Uh, up 50 yeah. uh, from 50 on the bottom the z axis does stay on 10 actually i might switch that because i have enough z travel to have here 20 or even 50 millimeters and then 100 200 and the maximum is 300 millimeters for the x and y axis and then you can go back again and now when you adjust the step size and you click on the Z axis, this is the Z axis up down. I put some arrow keys this time. Um, <clears throat> it goes only that distance. It goes two millimeters uh, up, down. And this is the X axis, uh, same here. It will only move two millimeters or depending on what you put down here so you can move your machine faster to the place where you want what you can also now is do uh, reset the y-axis by clicking this button i don't have the uh, g-codes in the running right now so i cannot show it i will maybe hook up my uh, cnc control and show it like that so anyway now these buttons have functions as well this one does reset the y-axis this one resets the x-axis and what i will do obviously since i lost the y-axis control i will move the adjustment of the step sizes onto the navigation switch so pulling it down it will lower the step size pushing it up it will uh, raise the step size and if you push in the navigation switch it will uh, return to the machine will return to zero so um, the colors here for the font uh, the layout might change i don't know that was just what i put together here um, and this is it so we have hardware upgrade and software upgrade which i think is great and it really feels beautiful in your hand now so if you're interested i will take some pictures and i will put it up on 
Tindy again for sale, obviously. And um, this is it. So this is the Picasso Pendant 2.0. And for my previous customers that bought the first version, <clears throat> actually these are for the first version. This version has slightly, uh, the holes are slightly moved. And so this is for the first version. If you have it, if you bought it, let me know and I will send you this as a gift. Uh, and for all the others, I will supply the STL files. And this uh, frame actually works with the new... Where do I have them? Yeah. It works with the new sp spacers I have. Which are these guys? The previous spacers were actually uh, spacers that you use to. Let me put my light up here. The previous ones were these ones. Oh, that's gonna be that difficult now. So the shorter one here. That's a spacer that you use with a soldering iron to press into 3D printed uh, parts. To have a thread so it won't rip out and these spacers are slimmer and they go into the frame let me show you they just do slide in the hole I'm not even sure if I did that here it's a little tight fit but it goes in and actually to push them in I use my vise to push them in and that way I will know they go in straight and without my fingers hurting you can see it on the bottom of the screen I just push them in like that and even these open ones even the open ones do hold the spacer in place doing it from the side my I think I didn't put any spacers in this one yet so you can see here and then I just use my wise and push the spacer in and as you can see, it is staying in there without falling out. So obviously I do, I will put the spacers in to the frame before I send it out to you. And you will need, if you want to put the back piece on there as well, slightly longer screws. And I will, of course, send them to you as well. So whoever lately or even before that bought my pendant if you want this let me know and it will be my small Christmas present and for anybody else uh, I would print more but I'm running out on <coughs> filament again um, because I printed a whole bunch of stuff lately and um, anyway I will send this to you free of charge of course just whoever leaves me a comment in the video will get it. So this was it actually for the video and uh, I really do like the pendant. Um, at first I wasn't sure if I'm gonna stick with the purple, but with the purple PCB. But now that I look at it, it did grow on me and I think it looks good. I even ordered some a while ago some silicone feet in white or transparent so I will put the transparent one on there not that it uh, looks bad just so it blends in better and as I said I'm working on the code and I will implement some even, even either color changing when the uh, rotary encoder moves or to show the state of the machine um, 
yeah this is it and the rest of my gadgets you do know uh peter uh, you mentioned that you like the matrix screensaver and you wanted to or you asked if i can do it in orange unfortunately i cannot do orange i can do red uh, the reason is uh, only one color can be selected from the main color so it's either red green or blue and then it has different uh, shades of that color and i cannot mix it to make it orange but it is red and it's a uh, well you can have it like henry ford said it you can have the ford what was it t t something in any color you like uh, as long as it's black so you can have this uh, matrix screen saver in red green or blue so just let me know and I will send this to you as my uh, appreciation appreciation to your uh, Nixie care package which I would have to send you a uh, hundred of these <laughs> so but I will send you one and hopefully it will arrive before Christmas so just let me know if you want green red or blue so anyway that was that and uh, I think this is it for the video I have also another project uh, finished ordered the PCB and they did ship out today and I'm waiting because uh, it is a type C power pad and if you're interested in what it can or what it will be used for stay tuned you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I talk about it Anyway, this is it. Thanks for watching and take care, everybody.